Question, how good of an immigrant are you? Maybe you always speak Czech to servers and shopkeepers. You always let people off the metro before you get on the metro. And you never pour the dregs of an old beer into a new one. But do you know the legal requirements if you change your address, if you lose your passport, or if you sign a contract in the Czech language that you didn't understand? Not quite sure about those? Then this video is for you. Ahoy Vashikni, it's Jen from Dream Prague, the channel where I share all of my mishaps as a foreigner living in Prague, Czech Republic, so that you don't have to make the same mistakes. Fortunately, the Czech government is stepping in and relieving me of this massive burden. Whew. Because they want to make living in the Czech Republic easier for you too. Let me explain. Back in the old days, moving to the Czech Republic was an adventure only for the lunatics and the rebels. The ones who made their own rules. Because the existing rules were all in Czech and we couldn't understand them. And if you did get into a pickle, you could always consult some seasoned expat who would dole out information between sips of Pilsner. Overstay your Schengen visa, do not, or three months in Croatia must you spend. A few years later, there were the expat Facebook groups, full of keyboard warriors who dispensed advice mainly specific to their situation and not yours. Helpful, but not. Enter the Ministry of Interior. I can't believe I'm about to praise the Ministry of Interior, but it's a whole new world. As of January 1st, 2021, the Ministry of Interior has introduced a new mandatory requirement for immigrants. <sighs> Don't worry, this one is actually gonna make your life in this country better. It is now required of new residents, and I'll define new residents in a minute, to take an official adaptation and integration course. This course is like 10 years of sessions with my expat Jedi master, all rolled into one easy to comprehend course, chock full of useful and accurate information about how to become a better immigrant in the Czech Republic. You kids today. When I was your age, I used to walk to the Ujad in a meter of snow and wait in line for hours just for Panable Shidova to come outside and whack me over the head with an incomplete application form. And even after being here for 10 years, I definitely learned some new things in this course. Like, what must you carry at all times in your wallet in the Czech Republic? At least 100 crowns in case of emergencies? A photo of Jan Masaryk? Your health insurance card. I completely did not know this. Americans are like, health insurance, must be nice. Yes, not only are all residents of the Czech Republic required to have health insurance, but we're required to carry the health insurance card with us at all times. Ironically, just the day before I took this course and learned this, I had left my wallet, health insurance card and all, in a gas station in Germany. How many days after losing your health insurance card must you report it? Eight days? 14 days? Why would I need to report a lost health insurance card? Okay, I didn't know that either. But now I do, and so do you. I took the adaptation and integration course at the Integrační Centrum in Prague too. If you're an immigrant, you definitely need to know about ICP because they exist for you. I've taken free check lessons there. I've gotten free legal advice there. I'll put a link to their main page in the description box below. And even though I've worked with ICP before, this video is not sponsored. I just thought it was really important for my immigrant viewers to know about ICP. If you're an immigrant, not only should you take the adaptation and integration course, you might be required to do so. So who is required to take the course? Every foreigner except Slovaks? Every foreigner plus people from Brno? It's a lot more complicated. The integration course is so straightforward and so helpful that the Ministry of Interior 
couldn't help themselves from complicating at least one little part of the regulation. Namely, who precisely must take the course. So in general, this course is required of immigrants who are non-EU citizens over the age of 15, who have received long-term residence or permanent residence after January 1st, 2021. There are exceptions to this, and you might be one of them. So I'll put a link to the exceptions in the description box below. If you're unsure about your specific situation, you can contact ICP and they'll let you know if it's required of you. But there were people in my course who weren't even required to take it. They'd been living here for a really long time and they just thought that the information was valuable and worth their time, as did I. How long is the course? Four days over the course of one month, four hours over the course of one day, four weekends over the course of the summer. Phew, four hours is completely manageable with anyone's schedule. And you'll be surprised how much valuable information they can pack into those four hours. You'll learn about requirements that you'd never have to deal with in, for example, the United States. Like, if you change your address in the Czech Republic, you must notify the Ministry of Interior no later than 30 days, 15 days, as soon as your furniture arrives at your new flat. See, this is the stuff that doesn't come up in casual expat conversation, but you need to know it. And that's what this course is for. So you don't miss the small but important stuff. We also went over the fun stuff like Czech values and Czech culture and Czech customs like taking off your shoes when you go into someone's home or giving up your seat on public transportation for a pregnant woman or an elderly person. What languages is the course offered in? All of them. Each course is conducted in Czech and then live translated into all of these languages. Not all of them at once. You sign up for your language only. But do it fast because these classes tend to fill up. What is the punishment for not taking the course? Getting sent back to your home country? A 10,000 crown fine? An internship at the Urad? Yep, you might have to pay a hefty fine if you don't take the course within a year of receiving your residence permit, so don't put it off. I learned oodles of tips, answering questions that I get asked a lot by the newbies, like, how do I find a doctor who speaks my language? You can't. Better start practicing your medical check. You can't. You must return to your home country for medical appointments. Znami lekarz.cz What? Are you kidding me? I've been 10 years in this country and I never knew this website existed. Not only can you find a doctor in your language, but one that takes your insurance and you can read reviews. This is the kind of knowledge they drop in the adaptation and integration course. I'll put the link to sign up in the description box below. How much does this valuable course cost? It's free. 1,500 crowns. They pay you 500 crowns to take it. No. Okay, there is a 1,500 crown fee to take this course, but let me tell you from experience that missing a deadline or filling out the wrong paperwork or just screwing up in the many ways that an immigrant can is a lot more expensive. And the course is also subsidized by the MVCR and the European Union because they want you to be a successful immigrant too. Becoming a model immigrant is about a lot more than knowing the proper way to order a beer and not getting hit by a tram, though that's important. So make sure to check out the info I've posted if you want a smoother transition into life in the Czech Republic. Uvidíme se příští týden. Ahoj.